Evogrid, the Asteroid Eaters, a fantastical concept inspired by Freeman Dyson's trees. Here we see the Evogrid simulation cube, and oh, we have a, a virtual asteroid, a model of an asteroid in space coming in, being introduced into our cube. We doubled our processors and we doubled them again to put computing power behind the virtual evolution in the cube. What do we see on the surface here? We see critters have evolved to live on the surface of our virtual asteroid. We're coming up on one of these critters now. It looks like a fine specimen. But we're going to lift him off and we're going to send him on a journey. And the journey is going to take him to our scanner, which is going to take him apart digitally allow us to send him to a higher calling. And our virtual creature is approaching the scanner. We'll get lined up. And as this creature is scanned, all of his digitally evolved parts are going to be packaged up in a new form. And our creature's all packaged and ready to be transmitted to our nifty nanofabricator, which is housed on a rocket. And the rocket is getting set to take off and is going to boost into space carrying its precious cargo of Terran artificial life. And our rockets in space going to the far reaches of the solar system to an asteroid which is very much like the one that we simulated in the EvoGrid simulation cube. We're going to set down on this real asteroid And our nanofabricating rocket is starting up with its sources of hydrogen, ammonia, and carbon dioxide, and is fabricating our digital entity into a creature of atoms. And the hatch swings open and gangplank comes out, and it looks like, uh, yes, we've got a creature is made out of atoms. Oh, we have another one. We have two creatures fabricated out of atoms. And two small steps for virtual creaturehood. And they're opening their solar collecting energy wings. And moving around a little bit. Oh, we see a little bit of an intimate moment there. Oh, there's an offspring. Another little one has come out, and we're seeing generations coming out, and the nano lichens and the creatures are populating and covering our asteroid. Oh, what do we have here on the left? We have our spacecraft come in, our human crewed craft, in for refueling for uh, some more cosmic milkshakes for the human crew. And as it refuels, it is taking advantage of a new form of biota which now lives in the solar system and allows human life to travel farther than it ever has gone before.